Hey everyone, Lyle here from West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange, and today I got some stuff that I'm going to send to the refinery to figure out exactly what it is. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Lyle and I own West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange here in Savannah, Tennessee. And I do a lot of videos of all of the cool collections that come into the store, some unboxing videos, some videos like this of stuff that I don't know and I gotta send to the refinery so they can assay it for me, and uh, a lot of other coin related content. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of the cool items that come into my coin shop. And on today's show, I have those three items that I'm actually going to send to the refinery. I'm actually going to head over there as soon as I'm done recording this video. I'm going to head on over to the refinery and have this stuff looked at. Tell me what it is. Um, I'll tell you the story behind all of these items in a moment. But just want to remind you guys that I am doing a giveaway for a uh, Dracula round for Halloween. So if you want your chance to win, make sure you watch the video right up there. And leave a comment on what is your favorite Halloween round in that video. And you will be entered to win the Dracula round. So check out that video and let me know what you think. All right, guys. So first up, I want to show you guys this little container right here. Now, I had a guy come in who said he dug up a well and um, he was digging around. And then all of a sudden from that well... A lot of this sand started to come up, and he looked at it, and he said, yeah, that doesn't look right. Um, he says that he thinks it might be, um, there might be grains of gold mixed into this sand, which, if you look at it right, it, do, it does kind of look like, like gold flakes uh, in, that's embedded inside of the small pebbles of sand. It's extremely weird. I really don't think this is gold. If, if it is, for whatever reason, um, I would be extremely surprised. But let's see if I can get some closer shots. I'll put it up on the microscope in a second. But on the, on the camera, it just looks like regular old grains. But trust me, there is some spots in there that looked pretty gold-like. You might be able to see them better under the microscope. So let's, let me just pat it down a little bit. Turn on the microscope. And let's focus a little bit. And there we go. Look at that, guys. Does kind of look like it has some, uh, like a nice gold color, too. A lot of these, I don't know, grains of sand. They look like bubbles almost, like little marbles. But yeah, it's, I don't, I don't know what this is. I highly doubt it's gold. But. I have to go to the refinery, and I told the guy I'll take a little sample of this stuff because he came in with a huge tub of this stuff. I'm talking, like, probably two, three gallons of the sand. So it was a lot of stuff. And uh, I just took a little sample, and I said, yeah, sure, I'll send it to the refinery. I don't even know. And you can even see all of the individual little bubbles. I don't even know if they'll be able to assay this. They might. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but I highly doubt it's it's any gold. If if it is, it's got to be refined, and uh, got to be burned off and turned into into bars and stuff. But I just thought that was neat. I really don't think this is gold, but I will send it off. We will find out, and I will show you the results in another video. Up next. I have a regular customer who's come in a few times now. He actually works at my kid's school. <laughs> so um, he does a lot of refining and he does a lot of crystal growing. So he told me that he's been growing some silver and he, whoop, here it is. I'm dropping some of it. Here is his silver that he's grown. I got it right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the refinery I'm going to have them melt it and turn it into a bar for them. And then we're going to assay it to see how pure 
Oh, I'm dropping a bunch of stuff. I gotta figure out where that hole is. To find out, it's right here. To find out how pure this bag of silver crystals is. Now, I didn't really know that you can like grow silver, uh, but apparently you can. I'm not sure how pure it is though. So that's something that we're really gonna wanna find out. So we'll turn this into a bar and we'll get it assayed and I'll let you guys know the results. But there's the hole right there. But let me see if I can grab some of the uh, flakes, put it under the microscope so we can take a look. I think I got it in there. Let's take a peek and let's focus. So there's a couple of pieces here. There's a big old chunk up here that I got to bring down. There it is. So this is all silver crystal that he grew. I'm not 100% sure how you grow silver, but apparently you can. Um, he bought a few rounds from me, and he said he was going to turn it into more. So kind of sounds like alchemy stuff, but it's actually pretty cool. I think it's really cool how this stuff uh, can be done. If you got the time, you want to put the effort into it. But there it is in all of its glory. So... I'm gonna take it to the refinery, have them assay it, have them turn it into a bar, and we'll see how big this bar ends up being. Let me see if I have my, let me go weigh it real quick on the big scale. All right, this is roughly 36 troy ounces. So 36 troy ounces right here. I wonder where that hole went, I forgot. Somewhere around here. So 36 troy ounces with the bag is in here. So that's gonna be a pretty decent sized bar. <laughs> but we're gonna send that off, or I'm gonna take it over there. They're gonna melt it for me. They will turn it into a bar, they'll assay it, and I'll let you guys know how pure these crystals, silver crystals are. Kind of hard to test it on the Sigma. <laughs> so I gotta do it the other way. And last but not least, same customer, also does a lot of gold refining. He's refined a lot of gold, and uh, he sold me this little, what is it? I guess you call it a nugget, gold nugget right here. And it's actually pretty cool. I'm not sure how pure it is. He says it's going to be pretty close to 999, which, um, which I actually think it is because when I put it on the Sigma... Get it ready. Let's try 90% gold. And let's see if we can do the back of it. And it's saying not 90% gold. Let's check the front. Not 90%. So let's try 91.7%, 22 carat. Still saying it's no good. And let's go to three nines pure. And the bubble's getting closer. It is really close to saying it is three nines fine. So I'm pretty curious to see how close it really is. I don't think I can, let's try the American Eagle, which I highly doubt. Krugeran, I highly doubt. It will say it's a cougar man. <laughs> but you never know. Oh, 98.6. Let's try that. 98.6. And it's saying no. So it's testing really close to 99. It's pretty close, guys. So I'm I'm thinking it's it's gonna be pretty close to that. So I'm very curious to see what purity that ends up being as well. All right, everyone, I am back from Nashville. It was an extremely long drive, an extremely long day, but I made it there and did what I had to do. I got all this stuff checked out for us, so let's, uh, let's see the results. So up first, we're going to take a look at these grains that uh, the guy thought might be gold, and I really didn't think it was. So I showed it to uh, my contact over there. 
and <laughs> he looked at it and said, yeah, I don't know. I was like, yeah, I don't know either. Um, he said he definitely is not something that he would try to melt, if uh, if anything. And I told him, yeah, I didn't think he, he could melt it, really. So we talked for a little bit. I told him the whole story. And he said, okay, we'll give it a try. So he tried it. And it did came back with something. But uh, it came back with SI, which I didn't know what SI was. He didn't know what SI was. So we looked on the periodic table, and SI stands for silicon. So this is... Uh, 100% silicon, which uh, come to figure out, I think one third of the Earth's crust is made out of silicon. So that is what this ended up being. No gold, no metal, nothing other than just silicon. So I have to uh, call the customer now and let him know that that is what he found. Nothing special. One third of the Earth's crust is made out of this stuff. So... That is that. Up next, um, all of those crystals that um, were grown, uh, I showed him the bag, and he looked at it, and he's like, yeah, I didn't know you can grow crystals, silver crystals. And I was like, yeah, I didn't know either. So uh, apparently it's this whole chemistry deal that you got to do, and you can actually grow some. Um, so I showed him the bag. He looked at it and he said, yeah, I can melt it, but the bar is not going to be pretty. And I was like, yeah, I don't think it really needs to be pretty. I think we just need to figure out how pure it is. And um, so they melted it. And here is the bar that they melted. That is it right there. They formed it. And you can still see that there's, uh, I guess, like borax and stuff of um, what they use to, uh, to help melt the stuff. And the bar is pretty firm no longer crumbly so it melted together fairly well and you can see a lot of the um dirt and all of the grime that gets in there and this is what it looks like after it's been melted and just put into a standard bar um he did say that for there's for sure chemicals inside of that thing um i think i'm so getting some on my hands which is probably water which is all over the place in this thing. Uh, still needs to dry, but it's cool. So uh, that's cool. <laughs> but this is the bar, and it ended up being 99.1% silver. So not 999, it is 99.1, which is extremely close to um, being pure silver. So that is amazing that you can actually grow something that is pretty close to silver. Because um, I, th I think, if I remember correctly, he bought about 20-ish ounces, maybe 20-ish something ounces of silver that he said he was going to turn into more. And this right here is 36 ounces. So if he took... 21 if you took 20 ish ounces and turned it into 36 plus he still has more to go um that's a pretty good spread if it's 99.1 percent pure so that's um definitely something to look into but here's the bar 99.1 percent pure silver i'm actually curious to see let's see what the sigma says <laughs> about the bar now that I could actually use the wand or something to test it oh. so let's uh let's give it a go I guess I'll test it up here since that seems to be the smoothest part let's try um let's see what it says with 90% first which it says it's uh pretty close not exactly 90% as far as the uh, U.S. currency goes. Let's try sterling. It says it's still a little off, not as close as the 90% into the bracket. Let's try 99.9. Don't know what happened there, 99.9. And it's right in there, guys. <laughs> 
It is right in the bubble, in the bracket. Let's let's check it again. With yeah, it's saying it's a little off with four nines. But hey, if this thing came into the store and they told me it was ninety nine point nine, the Sigma, oh, the Sigma sure as heck is gonna say that is ninety nine point nine. That's that's crazy. Which makes me wonder if the silver bars, I should have had them. I had a silver bar with me that I was going to have them test it, but uh, I decided not to. Um, or I wanted him to assay it to see what it was, if it was the same purity as this one. But um, I was in a hurry. So ended up not doing it. But it would have been nice to see if this is comparable to a regular silver bar. You can still see it's wet. Regular silver bar. So, uh, it, the, the Sigma says it's 99.9. So, that's crazy. And last but not least, let me take it out of the envelope, is this little gold nugget button, whatever we call them, right here. Another thing that he's refined. This is not something that he grew. He actually refined, um, I forgot what it was. I think it might have just been jewelry into into as pure as you can and this actually ended up being um pretty close to 100 percent. i think um he told me 100 percent, but he said it was is it's very close it, but he didn't tell me exactly what it was like maybe 99 98 somewhere around there percent gold so um or 99.9 99.8 is what i'm saying but he said it was it was it's gold. It is as pure as it comes right here. And that's crazy. Nice little guy. But yeah, that is all of the stuff from the refinery that I had him check out right here. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope it was fun looking at this stuff and uh, getting some information on them. But till next time, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, stay up to date on all of the cool things that come in. Like, look at this. This is actually pretty cool. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.